Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Croc Legend of the Gombos for the Sony PlayStation. This is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I've had this game requested to me an awful lot because, you know, old school PlayStation game, 3D platformer, and well, it does look nice, even though it plays a little clunky. But anyway, if you want to see the intro of this game, which starts, well, as soon as you boot up the game, you can take a look at it at any time. So that's actually a pretty neat feature. Let's see how the story goes. And yeah, those little furry things are actually called the Gavos. That raise croc is their own. And now I gotta go save them. If you didn't have, like, the box art or the instruction manual for this game, you would have no idea what's happening. Because there's no, like, written dialogue. There's no voice acting. Like, you would have to understand the game to actually know what the story is. All I know is just how to play the game. To some degree. So let's do 1 1. Alright, so as you can see here, it is a 3D platformer. There are gobbles everywhere, and I mean literally everywhere. I think there's six in a stage, five in the normal level, and if you get all the color gems, you can get a bonus level. Use square for your tail whip. Apparently that uh, gem was the purple one. If you get like five different colored gems, you'll be able to go to a bonus level, which allows you to get another gobble. If you press X in midair, you do a ground pound. So you move around with the D-pad, of course. Like, left and right just only allows you to turn. Like, if you're standing still, you're just turning at certain degrees. Um, you just use circle to turn backwards. Triangle, if you hold it, allows you to use, like, some kind of camera. Well, there's another gem for us. The triggers will change your uh, camera view. So let's say if you're platforming and you don't want to touch the lava, you just have the camera in this view. So you have a better view of your shadow. If you get hit, you lose like a bunch of gems. They'll get knocked out of you and you get a chance to pick them up. Hearts give you extra lives. So keep that in mind. And you'll be able to get through this game rather easily. Okay, 
Alright, so far so good. I haven't finished this game before. In fact, my practices, I didn't really go far. I only want to play like maybe a half hour just to see if I like the game or not. And while it's not perfect, it's better than other games I've played before. So yeah, the gems will get knocked out of you Sonic style. And you have a chance to pick them back up. I don't know if you'll be able to like get them all, but you can certainly try. At least the music's pretty good. I think it's very catchy for like the type of area it is. I'm just gonna pay close attention here so I don't get burned. Getting burned is no good. So far, we have three gobos. Let's see if I can find two more before the bonus stage. And that gong over there allows you to finish the level. Let's not finish the level yet, obviously. That's a snake. Oh, I guess it'll allow me to go in the well? Yeah, assuming that's a snake, it's probably a giant ass worm. Either way, it just left me alone. For some reason, it's not in the cave, even though we it clearly came from there. Jumps like this can be a bit tricky, because you have to adjust your view, and then you have to do the thing. Luckily, you can just grab onto ledges, too. You can use L and R1, L1 and R1 to a strafe. Yeah, if you get hit once, all your gems are gone. Every single one, so be very careful. But we can go through that door that leads to a bonus room. The bonus room will also allow us to get a gobbo. So let's go for it. Look at this jello. And there we go. So this will just allow us to get some gems. We got a key. Let's see what I need the key for. Probably for that cage. I did it. Oh, there is an extra life behind there. Now, I'm pretty sure I missed one gobbo. I had no idea that as soon as you enter a bonus stage, you're automatically exiting the level. Alright, let, let me go back and get that other gobbo. I don't know if I have to get, like, actually pick up six for it to count as six, or just find the one you never found. Oh, it resets to zero! So you literally have to finish the entire level in its entirety to absolute perfection for it to be counted. I don't know why. I, I kind of wish you could just only pick up the one that you missed. But sadly, it doesn't work that way. So guess what? I'm playing the level twice! And you get to watch... It's a level so nice, you can do it twice. Oh well. At least it's a bit scenic, so it's not too bad. And I think you get to keep your lives, too, at the very least. They wouldn't be mean enough to, like, reset your life counter. That would make no sense. I think they also keep score, like the amount of gems you finish with. Although I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. It feels weird to have movement like this when you're using just a D-pad. I think there's analog play as well, is there? I hope so. No, there isn't. Or at least it's not mapped that way for me.
this could be an issue. But we'll we'll find a way to work it out. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, let's try this again, but this time I'm going to take the right side first. So I think there was a gobble over there. Yep, it's right on this little island. You see that little worm over there just burrowing in the ground? My advice is just to leave it alone. Because it can hurt a good bit. Even when you're just touching the ground it's already burrowed from, that really should not hurt you, it does. Like even when the worm is just still, it makes no sense. Alright, do your thing, and then you just leave me alone. I will try to get everything I can in each level, because I hear there's like a secret world if you were to collect all the stuff. So I'll definitely try to do that. Okay, that's kind of mean to put an enemy right there where I can't prepare for it. Enemies do respawn after a few seconds, too. Okay, so we got five of each. Like, well, five gobos. I also have five lives, unless they count to zero, and then it's six. I wish games were more consistent as to what they were going to apply. And then we go over here to get our key. Nice. And that's our sixth Gobbo, which is the last one of the stage. And there you go, that's what the levels in Croc are going to be like. And you can save your game anytime, too. Like, maybe if you didn't have a memory card, you can use the password system instead. A couple boxes over there, don't mind if I do. Sadly, you cannot break them with a tail whip. Like, you have to use the ground pound. Is there anything else over here? Seems like I should be able to get up on that wall. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen here. Wait, can I climb this? Yes, you can! You just have to walk up to that wall. It does look a little tricky to spot, though. So you have to really pay attention. Wait, did he hurt me without actually hurting me? That's bullshit. The problem is, maybe you're not gonna know which way leads forward and which way just leads to gobbos and gems. So I guess I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and go this way. Oh, and you can't go back either. Quit the game as a whole? Can I just exit the level? I don't think it allows me to exit the level. So if there were gobbos in that hole, guess what? You have to redo the whole level. And there's no going back either. So you have to know where everything is if you want to get everything done on the first try. Which, you know, is a minor criticism of the game. Like, there are so many places where you have to, like, 
redo everything. And I don't think it should have been like that. But it is. Okay, there's another gem for us. Ow! Hold on. How the hell do I get up there? Would I have been able to get there the other way? I suppose I'll save you. I don't think there was anywhere to climb here. There isn't. I don't think I can just hang on to this. Yeah, you'll slide right off. You can't jump. If you're on a plane that's, like, too steep for you. Is there a way for me to actually get back there? I hope there's a way for me to get back there. So I guess I'm better off just trying to finish the level now. I'm not going to get everything anyway, so why even bother to try to look for it now? Alright, alright, I'll just do this level again too. That's probably going to be the last level I do in this episode, because I had to do each one twice. Definitely going to have to prepare myself for, like, the second episode, so I can get them all in one go. But the fact that you have to just know where everything is, if you wanted to get it all done on the first try. There's some beginner's traps for completionists out there. If I find out I didn't even have to do this, and this was just for a shortcut, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, it shoots you! But it barely gives you a prompt. Like, it hardly telegraphs its move. Or at least I... I didn't notice it. Because it seemed like a shooting animation, and it's just a stationary animation. Well, if you can call it that. Are the same! All right, let's see what's down here. See, it leads to a whole alternate area. So make sure you don't smash the box you are just currently on. Otherwise, you can't even reach the other one. I think that there is jello. Uh oh, move. Yeah, I don't think there's. Oh, there's something up here. What's above the hole? Uh, is that extra life worth it? No, that's why I'm doing it anyway. Well, at least if you die, you don't lose all your progress. No, I didn't have a gobble rescued. That's lame. You know, a little cheap hit there. And it seems like you can go back here. Maybe I'm supposed to go for that life jumping off this box. Oh, I almost went too far. Like seriously, if you ground pound something and you land on top of an enemy, you're hit instantly. Okay, there was a gobbo in this hole. So yeah, you can leave this room, but you can't leave the other one. Instead, you just end up over here. Now, I don't know why I needed to do that. I could have just simply dropped down. It's not like I have brittle leg syndrome. 
given me much credit in this world. Alright, let me go save the gobbos again, and then we'll finish the level normally. Now I know I should be able to get everything in this try. But yeah, that's a little mean for me to have to choose between what hole, and I picked the wrong one first. But it is what it is. At least you'll get more out of this video, even though it's just two levels. This is the last... Ah, damn! Might have to farm for some lives between episodes to make my life a little bit easier. Oh. Come on! I have four gobos. There should be another one somewhere. Is it in this box? Turns out there wasn't a reason for me to land on this one island. Okay, there it is. Now we can go on this bonus stage, too. Oh, God. Like, turning on- during jumps is not easy. Okay. I think I just had to smash all the boxes. And you can hold the jump button to keep your ground pound going. I guess that also helps if you're dealing with enemies above you. That if you're just holding ground pound, you'll keep ground pound. I'm guessing if I just hold up, get a hundred in total when I finish a level, I get an extra life automatically. Let me go save. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Simpsons Wrestling on this too. To overwrite. Um. No, put it on an empty block. What am I doing? Oh, oh my god! Why is this so annoying to navigate? I somehow failed at saving the game. <laughs> it does not bode well for this project. Okay, you only got 4% of the game beaten so far. Alright, I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, we're gonna go to Shouting Lava Lava Lava. That's a weird name for a level. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.